Welcome back to my second short video and the focus, of, uh, the focus of this video is keeping connected and by that uh, I'm going to really make the point about how import, important it is to remain connected with friends and members of your family who may not be living with you uh, and how that can actually help uh, lift your spirits and lift your, lift your mood. Uh, and these are unusual times. Okay, we're not having that level of social interaction, but we are also lucky and fortunate that we do live in a, in a technology era where there isn't really an ex a reason for us not to be able to connect in some sort of way. So we're going to talk a bit about what strategies and ways uh, you're using and I can share some ideas with you to remain connected. Because this sense of remaining connected during a time when you're isolating, essentially, uh, within the bubble of your own family is really quite important. Um, so, I've, I, I've, Mike, the, you can see the slide, but the, the really key thing that I want to point out here is that sharing our day-to-day -day lives with others can be very helpful, and it can certainly make us realise that we are, we are not alone, or well, we're not alone. And a couple of things I really want to focus in on here is firstly, Check in with someone daily. It could be a member of your family, it could be somebody you check with, it could be a friend, you could check in at the end of the day, ask them what did they do today, you could tell them a bit about what you did, and that sort of daily check is really quite helpful. Let them know how you're doing, and that way you build up a support structure with a, with a friend. You might be able to um, you know, uh, chibi them up a little bit, lift their spirits, they might be able to do it for you when you're feeling particularly down. So those are the benefits, benefits of uh, remaining connected. Um, the, 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 the last bullet point is taken from slide one where I say remember to talk to someone if you have any worries, problems or concerns. And those, that, that, that's a perfectly natural feeling. Uh, we're all feeling it. Uh, but the, the key thing here is reach out to somebody if you're feeling particularly low. Again, it could be a friend a member of your family, or somebody in school. Um, on slide one, we, we talked a bit about what have you been doing to try to make sure that you are keeping connected. And I, 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 I always think it's worthwhile putting some questions up, sort of questions that typically we ask ourselves when we're reflecting. Um, and you don't actually have to read these questions out to yourself, but it's worth using them as prompts. Uh, and so, you know, who have you been connecting with? in terms of your social group? Have you been using new ways to keep connected? Um, have you found any issues with connecting with people? How are your day-to-day -day connections or lack of affecting your mood? That's, that's an important one. And do you know who you can talk to if you need to? Everybody needs someone. And I want you to think about who would you talk to if you were feeling particularly low? So this one, I mean, I mean, the, I say my first bullet point that the key to staying happy and healthy is to maintain a, a good balance between staying connected and doing other activities during the day. Uh, you could be stuck on your computer pretty much for the large part of the day because of the way work is set, and, 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 and that can trigger boredom. So we'll talk a bit about how you can manage your you know, on-screen day and life. How much time do you spend on, on, on a screen each day? Um, there, I, I suggested a plan in video one. I said this is how you could structure your day. And if you're going to use that plan, then please build into the plan uh, that your day has some non-screen activity. It's very tempting uh, to get bogged down. You know, I'm, I've been working on my computer, now I'm on my phone, and now I'm going to go and play on the Xbox. It's, get, it, it, it's very tempting to be bogged down in that sort of way. And I'm suggesting here that you need to every now and then break those routines and actually go and do something different. Um, I've said it's really important not to spend time listening to negative things on social media from individuals with whom you don't have a relationship. This is very important. This is very important. The doom, and, the doom and gloom uh, naysayers, we need to keep away from negative uh, thoughts and ideas. We need to keep a positive uh, 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 frame of mind. 
Because things aren't getting better. Uh, I said in my first slide that easing has been, uh, the lockdown has been eased. It has. We are told that further measures will be taken around July the 4th. They will. And, you know, you, we can visibly see that it's a different place to where we were in, say, April. Okay, so there's lots to be positive about and there's lots to look forward to. And that's not just me being ridiculously unreasonably positive, it's me being positive based upon what I've seen and what we're all witnessing uh, as we go about our daily lives. But it does mean that uh, I personally don't spend any time um, really listening to negative thoughts or listening to negative people. I don't really give that much that, that, that type of thing, much space in my life, to be honest. Um, we talked about maintaining a balance. So if during this course of the, 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 the day, you find that your mood is dipping, because we can all, that, that, that sort of slide, we can all suffer that slide, but all of a sudden, and I'm not sure why this is happening, but my mood is beginning to dip. Now, my suggestion there is, Turn off all your devices, whatever it is that you're currently doing, just stop it. If you're on Show My Home, just, just give it a break for a minute and do something active or go and focus on what interests you instead. Right? Now, there has to be something that you like doing. I'll give you one example that when I'm in school, I plan for the things that I'm going to do when I go home, uh, the things that I enjoy doing. Uh, I'm going to, I plan for them during the school day. So what happens is that I look forward to them throughout the school day because I know that at the end of the school day, when I get home, I'm going to do X, Y, or Z. And I'll make sure I do them. I have, I have, a, I have this me time around the things that I enjoy doing. So that immediately keeps me in a slightly uplifted, upbeat mode throughout the school day. And it also means that when I get home, I have this, uh, not this, this, this great thing to look forward to, then I, and then, I, then I, uh, I can execute that, and I feel, that I've, I feel a sense of achievement. I feel that I planned for this uh, sort of bit of happiness at the end, it happened, and I have this sort of repeat cycle every day. I think it's really important that you have something to look forward to. So when you get up in the morning and you do your work, what is it that you enjoy doing? What is it? Plan to do it. Put it in your plan. Say, right, I'm going to do that at 4 o'clock. I'm going to do that at 5 o'clock. You look forward to doing it, and, uh, and you get a sense of fulfilment there. Uh, uh, there are some other ideas. Uh, taking a walk around the house or outside, just get up, get away from your t uh, screen, go and do something different. Having a drink or snack, drawing or making something, if that's what you enjoy doing. Uh, read a book or listen to an audiobook. Uh, audiobooks are free, you can't actually, down you can, you can't actually download uh, some free audiobooks. Um, stay connected by having a conversation with another member of your household, go and talk about something with somebody else. Or nothing at all, just you know, have a lie down, have a bit of a rest. If sometimes I'm, I'm, I start feeling uh, a little bit tired, you might start dropping off to sleep whilst you're sat on your computer desk. Just break away, have a power nap, and say to yourself, right, for the next 15 minutes, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, it's important to remember that whilst technology is great for staying in contact with others, sometimes it doesn't always make us feel good. So, um, stay safe, make sure you know who you were talking to, clearly, okay, so you've had this in school, know who, you're, know who it is that you're actually talking to. Your online connections with people should make you feel safe and happy, otherwise they're not worth it. Talk to someone who you can trust if you feel that you're being bullied or struggling, that goes without saying. There are people in school, like the year leaders, form tutors, or any teacher you can turn to. Obviously, you've got family and friends as well. Look, think positive. It's important to remember that social media news images are often not based on facts. So they may, may not be true, and they may well be portraying a false negative. So you need to focus on the positives. I've already said to you there's lots of things to be positive about. High streets are opening up, um, uh, restaurants are going to start opening up, and so on. Uh, distance yourself from negative messages and resist the urge to frequently check social media. Yeah, you know, 
the, the whole idea of you know, this, is, this is my life, I've got one life, I'm going to surround myself by positive people, positive ideas, positive things. It, it makes sense, right? Um, some extra things. Look, on this slide, have a, please have a look at some of these links. Uh, the, the top one is a, is a really good one. It's uh, how to stay connected during lockdown on the Young Minds website. I think you, you might have come across that when, when you were in school. Um, there's a social distancing can make you lonely on the conversation website. So this is just interesting things for you to, uh, for you to check out. But the key message here is stay connected, stay positive. And I'll see you in my next video.